Hey everybody, it's Ali Edwards and welcome to our Story Play Love Story Week. Super excited to dive into story ideas and some fun, playful content uh, for you during the course of this week. If this is your first time joining us on a story play adventure, at the beginning of the year we offer four different themed kits. You can get them in a bundle or individually. And then over the course of the year, we pick four different weeks and we dive into storytelling ideas and share fun ways that you can use the pieces of the collection to tell your story. This year we decided to start off with Love Story. If you are looking for Day in the Life, which we often do first, we're going to actually do that later in the year this year just to change things up, mix things up. These kits are really targeted. They're very simple uh, in terms of they include a few different pattern papers, a transparency, some stickers, some journal cards, and then we do have uh, a chipboard set as well with those. I've already taken these out of the chipboard and then we also offer a little stamp set too that goes along with it. So one of the things that I love about these kits is they can be beautifully wonderfully straightforward right you do not have to go down a big creative path you can literally take a paper like this which has all these little prompts on them um, about this one's about love story and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, you can take these and this can be the jumping off point and I think that that's probably what I am actually going to do with these papers. I want to do one uh, that's about Aaron and I, so about my partner and I using this as the jumping off point. Uh, I am probably just going to keep it as it is and I'm going to pair it with a full page photo because that's part of, again, what I love about these kits is that they are really direct and really straightforward. Uh, also, same thing with this one. I'm probably just going to pair this with a photo or some other, maybe a collage of photos. That would really be really fun for the jumping off of the paper. And then I'm pretty sure that I will do some sort of a pocket page spread with the what I love about you cards here and I may actually end up using the stamp to do some more so we would have these two and then some additional journal cards that's kind of one of the things that I'm thinking about and then I also was really inspired by this heart shape with this whole setup right here and so I made a cut file and when we get to that project this week. I'm hoping to, you can see here's some, kind of my starting place for this. I'm hoping to share a fun interactive project with these where you'll get the cut file as well. So that'll be later in the week itself. Now I'm not sure what you will have seen at the time that this video comes on. Uh, Linda Jordan is going to be doing a story planning video for you guys using this kit too. So you may have already seen her story planning video and her ideas. I haven't watched that yet. Yet. Uh, so we may have some of the same ideas, which is always something fun to see as well. All right. So I, like I said, super excited to dive into this. I'm going to start with the straightforward project first uh, for today, just to get us all warmed up and excited about this week. So today for the jumping off point, I'm going to use this, this uh, outside of the page protector page. This one has really directed specific props. So it has the year we met, where we met, how we met, your first impression, my first impression, first kiss, our song, first home together, a trip we loved, uh, what we love to do makes us laugh and best memory. Now this can be for a partner. This could be for a parent, obviously first kiss, you might take that one out. Um, it could be with a pet, right? There's lots of different ways that love appears in our lives. It's not always romantic love. It can be the love of a friend, right? It could be your the story of a friendship. Uh, with these, we also offer a digital version. So if you wanted to repeat this again, or if you wanted to recolor it, you wanted to take this um, as a jumping off point for something else, we do off the offer the digital version of this. Another thing to think about with this paper in particular, you can uh, cut this one down, down so that it would fit into the divided page protector. So these guys are right about two by two. You'd have to trim them down just a tad uh, to fit into the page protector, but definitely that is an option. I think that I'm just going to leave it as this 
as it is because what I was saying earlier is I love the idea of just having it be really simple and direct. If you want to take it to the next level, you want to cut it out, maybe you want to create, turn these guys into frames, right? Maybe you want to actually cut out these little squares. That would be fun or have them be flip ups. That's a whole other way that you could approach this. Think in terms of layers. There's always a really simple starting point. There's always the a, a very simple direct approach available to you. And then from there you can go um, in a lot of different directions, right? Like I said, you could do flip ups, you could do have these cut out, you could do photos on top um, with text underneath, uh, a million different ways that you could approach this. So I think what I want to do, I am feeling really excited about doing some stamping on here. I'm thinking a little bit about or or larger handwriting. I've been into some doing some brush pen stuff recently, but really I just kind of want to fill in those squares because sometimes that's the funnest thing. The funnest thing is to just fill out the story. Now the question is, what do I want to pair with this? Do I want to pair it with a full page photo? Do I want to pair it with a collage of photos um, from our time together? That is also an option to me. So I need to think a little bit about how what I what I want to pair uh, this with. So I'm going to go take care of that part right now. And then we'll pop back on here. Okay, so I just had a wonderful little down the rabbit hole of memories experience. So I can't recommend to you highly enough to spend a little bit of time in your photo archives while you're working on this, especially I think if you're doing um, someone who you are really co close to. Uh, it was so fun to go back in and look at some of the past photos. So I'm going to be using photos that I have used before because I'm telling pieces of a story in a different way. And I love that these are the jumping off points. And what I think I am going to do at first, I was like, oh, I'm just going to do very specific. But now I kind of want to do some flip up things and, and maybe have some of these be little windows. So I'm going to be figuring out how to make that happen. So I have my this will be the page that will go with it. So an old photo of Aaron and I together, which is a fun one to just go big with. And then I did some two by twos of some past trips, past adventures, past just photos of the two of us that can go along a little bit with the different themes here. So I'm going to get all of those cut out and then uh, we will see what we do next here. In case you are brand new, when I am dealing with my photos, I use Photoshop for my photo editing and for enlargements and those sorts of things. So I am printing out my photo. This photo right here is the same size as outside of the page protector. So that's seven inches wide by 8.25 inches tall. And this is on Epson photo paper that I printed here at home. I like doing things that are outside of the page protector. So I do a combination of both inside page protector pockets and outside page protector pockets. Let's see, make sure that was, did I cut that wrong already? No, nope, I think I'm good and seven inches wide. Let's see. And then I also use uh, Photoshop to do things like crop into two by twos and that sort of thing. So you can use any program you can that is available to you. This is just the one that I've used for years and years. So it's what I continue to use. These are just little two by twos that I cropped and put on an eight and a half by 11 canvas. This one was also just printed on eight and a half by 11. Um, but I love, love the two by twos. Okay, so as I'm planning this one, I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do a combination. So some of them will get cut out and let's just go ahead and do one. A little bit of what I'm thinking of, like this one is the year we met. I think on this one I want, I'm gonna fold this part up. So I'm just gonna cut around the outer edges. Let's try that first and just see. We kinda of have to try to figure this out as we go. That's. That is how it is sometimes. So on this one, I think what I would like to do is I'll stamp the year on here, but then I want to make this be a flip up so that on the back, 
I will have a photo. So let's see if we can do that. And I'm just using a craft knife here, an X-Acto knife and a ruler. So I'm kind of thinking that some of these might, the whole two by two part might flip up. Let's see what we can do. Remember, <laughs> remember how I said I was gonna just do it right on top of the things? Yeah, I'm not doing that. I decided to play. I decided to play more. Yay for play, yay for fun. But like I said, lots of ways that you can approach this. So you need to decide for you how you want to do it. Okay, so what I want is, I want that to fold, but I kinda wanna see, I wanna get it on the right, yeah. Oh yeah, all right, so this actually is somewhere where I might be able to bring some of the tabs in. I don't know, we'll see, that might be too big. Okay, so this one, this one I wanna have, I'm gonna have a, end up having cardstock behind here, okay, so that that'll be you know where these other pictures will live there. All right, so this one will be able to open up that way, but I might have another one of these open up all the way, so kind of a combination of of that and maybe I'll put a photo on top here too. I'm kind of trying to think like have a, they don't all have to be the same, right? They don't all have to be that they're lifting up like this. It might be that this whole piece lifts up or the trip we love lifts up all the way. Um, or maybe on some of them, I just make this, I cut this out all the way so that it's just a little window without having the flip up. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We have a lot of trips that we loved. Um, this one I know I want to have on here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out a piece of cardstock so that I have that background set up first. Yeah, I have this one too. And this could just be a piece of scratch paper. I have one that I already stamped on. Okay, so another idea. One of the things I like to do when I'm doing this is kind of talk through ideas. I don't always use all of the ideas myself, but it might be a jumping off point for you. So the idea that, this is fun. First, I just had to look at that and see where that would fit. Um, numbers, if you're wanting to use numbers on here, if numbers are important to you, like for the year we met, one of the things I was thinking of first off was these red numbers from December Daily could fit on there. I'm kind of just trying to, again, think some of this through. So we actually met at the end of 2012. So let's see if I have a 12. It would be a 12. So I would, am either going to use one of these from December Daily last year, or I could stamp it, like stamp it embossed. That would be fun. Or I can grab one of the ones over here that I have that's already like some 12s in my numbered spots. Probably, I probably use the 12. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I kind of wanted to see like, what does that look like on there? And maybe I'll use more of those. But I kind of just like that on there. I was also thinking, do I want to put like the transparency? So there's this transparency that you could use and that could be like underneath. So you could have a little layer on top of there if you wanted that. Or there's also, we did some transparency like this too. There's a black and gold one that you could cut up. It does have the holes in it, but, or you could just, I might just keep it simple like that. So when I do something like this where I'm gonna have a little bit of variety in the design, I think I, I like to repeat things. So the fact that I have one of these that's a lift up like this, maybe I'll do another one like that's a different year. 
for a trip we loved or something that repeats, right? Like the 16 or repeats another number. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I have at least a little bit of repetition, but maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. You could also take what's on the stamp set, like this part that says, my soul has traveled long and far to find yours. Like you could do that on one of them too. All right, so I'm definitely laughing as I watch <laughs> myself work on this back again, because I definitely did more than just the, you know, entry level or the, the first level of stuff where you're just adding things on top. So what you're going to see me do here on this one is I'm going to do a variety of different things. Some photos are going to be added directly on top. Those are trimmed 1.75 by 1.5. Then I'm going to have some of them that fold up. So where I've cut three edges of these white squares that are on the paper. And then some of them I am going to cut out the white part completely so it just creates a little frame. And I'm doing those specifically for the ones that have journaling on them. I think the one that I'm working on right now is um, some information about one of the Dave Matthews songs that feels like is is our song. And, I'm, and I just f sized that so that it would fit within the... 1.75 by 1.5, which is the size of the square. Um, so knowing that I wanted a little bit of space around there. Using my X-Acto knife and a metal ruler here to be able to cut these out. As I was thinking through, I knew that I wanted to have three of them that folded up just because I like having three of something often. And that's that you'll, you'll see I end up with three things of journaling, three things with flip ups, three photos that are adhered on top. And then the second row kind of gets its own treatment as you'll see in a minute here. Uh, considering adding, still considering adding that 12, I don't end up adding the 12 in the end, I end up taking it off so that I can create a little consistency within my embellishments or within what I add on top. And you'll see that coming up here in a minute. This is the, what I'm cutting out right now is the how we met square so again this is just as much space as just as much space <laughs> how do I say this there's not a ton of space available so you have to pick words that are going to just tell the the uh the overarching pieces of the story right like this isn't a deep dive into exactly what happened and and uh, all of those sorts of things but it's kind of a really nice little overview of some of those things where we met the twilight you saw that that i actually got from the internet i looked up twilight marathon that was where aaron and i officially met um we had been communicating over facebook for, because we were introduced by a friend and uh then we ended up getting together he ended up coming with me katie was there as well so i so i printed that out on photo paper here just taken from the internet and then and added that on because that's a fun piece of our story along the bottom there I had a photo of a Dave Matthews band ticket which was actually one of the first concerts or one of the first Dave concerts that we went to so I added that on for the what we love to do as I was working on this too I was thinking this would be so fun to do something like this for your parents um, you know, if your parents are still together or a portion of your parents' love story or maybe your grandparents or something like that, if they're uh, still around to be able to, you know, collect a few of the different pieces of their story. First home together, I just printed out a picture from our backyard. I lived in the house that Aaron moved into already. So this is our, our shared home. And then what I decided to do next was this is for the your first impression and my first impression. I decided to do fold ups for this one. So I printed the photos again, 1.75 by 1.5. And then I arranged the journaling there in, in a way that I would be able to uh, flip it up. So the width is 1.75. It's actually 1.75 by three, which makes it so that then I can fold it in half and then adhere the photo on top. This is going to give me a little space to do some embossing on the inside using the stamps. And you'll see that uh, in a few minutes here. And then I'm back to cutting out uh, some more of these. So I love the idea of sharing something like this with you where you can see, you know, you could do all flip ups. You could do all photos directly 
on top of the white boxes. You could do all frames. You could cut them out so that they are frames. Lots of different ways that you could um, tell this story using some of the techniques that I'm showing here. Um, or you can do it as simple as simply just adding the photos directly on top. All right, so I printed out a couple more stories. This was the, I think, the best memory, um, which was a spring break took that we took, that we the spring break trip that we took in 2016 to California. We both felt like that was really fun. We've been really lucky. We've had gotten to take a lot of trips. We've had a lot of, we have a lot of really good uh, memories and that's I'm something that I'm super, super thankful for. Okay, so next up I'm gonna stamp the R story and then emboss that uh, using red embossing ink. So I'm using Versamark to stamp. It's a clear embossing ink, the R story on the top inside of the flap there and this is where I wrote down I asked Aaron you know what was his first impression and then I wrote what my first impression was and that's what's on the inside of there and I'm going to be uh, using some twine to tie those down you'll see that a little bit later in the process but I did that times two one thing I would caution you on is photos really don't like to have the heat on them and so one of the pictures the the shadow picture got a little bit cracked from the heat of the heat heat gun so you might want to consider um, not adhering that down until later. Okay changing my mind as I go along here which is nothing new <laughs> in the scope of how I like to do things here. I think I'm going to put this guy down underneath there and then one of the other things I was thinking about remember I had the number 12 up there but I I think I'm going to change my mind about that. And I think instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a heart here from this pattern card. I think that's what I want to do. And then I'm also going to stamp something and I'm going to put that on the top of each one of these. So let's cut it out and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm thinking here. of thinking of like doing the heart on top there and then I was considering stamping the you and me and making like a little thing that would go on top so let's see what that looks like okay so here I'm stamping the you and me stamp with stays on ink you could do it in any color you wanted the idea being that I'm creating a little tab that can sit on top of the heart that I cut out from the card. I'm going to do that three times and I'm going to use foam adhesive to lift up the back of the you and me on top of the heart. It was a fun way to add a little something. I'm also using my brush pen to write a few little additional story pieces um, on the underneath of those flip up cards. I also something I, I missed saying earlier is I did take a one inch circle punch and punched out uh, the bottom of those flip up pages so it gives them like a little bit of a tab or a little bit of a place to grab your finger that was again a one inch circle punch so here I'm going to cut out uh, additional hearts that can be on top of those fold ups you could use any sort of embellishments maybe you have some hearts plastic hearts or something else in your stash but this is a simple way to just use the pieces from the kit and cut up those cards uh, in order to create some embellishment so Adding again a little bit of detail, just like the location where um, a trip we loved was a trip we took to China. And then I'm, this is the part that was like, what makes us laugh? And I just wrote each other. Uh, and then I had a funny picture that is gonna go underneath there as well. So cutting out the third heart, I will actually end up cutting out a fourth heart as well that will go on the chipboard piece that's gonna sit on top of my full page photo uh, you'll see that in a little bit here too so adding those guys on then um, I did go ahead and stamp some more of the you and me's using that stamp set and then um, adhered those on with the foam adhesive you can also see how I'm as I'm going along I'm adhering the things that are behind onto that background piece of cardstock you know adhering the words adhering the photos and the different things here's the other heart that I'm going to cut out and I'm just going to cover it up on that you and me I'm going to add a plus sign with my black thick Posca paint pen then for the the first kiss one I didn't have a photo of that so what I decided to do just was just use the brush pen again and write uh, directly on top of there and just add the date which was happens to be the date that we met because that's 
that's how we roll uh, around here. All right, so now I'm adding on the adhesive so that I can stick down the pattern paper on top with all the fun little pieces that I have either cut out or folded up or adhered something on top of there. All right, and then I decided to use some twine to tie down the photos with the Our Story uh, stamped embossed underneath. Um, they, I don't know, I just, I felt like I wanted to do this. And so I actually started with using embroidery floss and I didn't find that to work as well. So I grabbed some of this red and white twine that I have and it's a little waxy and for some reason that seemed like it it just worked better. I used a paper piercer to punch holes along the outside edge of both of these photos. These are the first impression photos and I'm just punch the holes on both sides and then I'm bringing it up through the back of the hole and I used a needle to be able to do that and then I can tie just a cute little bow on the top to hold those ones uh, down and this is this is again this is kind of like you know adding another level but I really like having the texture of the twine on there and it's also going to be a nice um, it's going to pair nicely with the you and me on the other side I want to add some of that twine onto that chipboard tag. This to me felt like one of those imperfect things. Like it was a little bit hard to get it back through the hole and then the twine was thicker and all those things. But I still really like how it turned out. And I don't think that it looks too bad even with, you know, the paper a little bit smushed. You could do something like add add an eyelet. That would, that would work too. You'd have to have a really tiny little eyelet. Um, that's why I didn't end up going that way. And I am taking a little bit of scotch tape and adhering it on the back just to hold it in place. And then I can tie that there um, in a little bow and then it can be tied and untied if somebody wants to read uh, what is underneath there. Again, I like the texture. I love bringing in an additional little bit of red and white, um, all of the above. And like I said, I am gonna add on some of this twine over onto the other side with the chipboard piece and I'm gonna add some um, foam adhesive underneath there. I'm using my six hole punch to punch holes in both of these so that they can go directly into the album. I'm adding on my heart with my plus sign that I did that um, is a nice connection to that first page and then adding in the twine. Super fun, love how this one turned out. Um, I love love how projects like this can really take you on an adventure both into your past and then into your own creativity depending on um, how much time you want to spend and how deep you want to go and how much fun you want to have along the way. All right you guys let me know if you have questions in the comments below.